how would you transport Blue NH3 globally to points of use for mobility applications? Um, that's a good question. I mean, in, um, in, in my knowledge, actually, um, blue, the blue ammonia is a question, right? Yeah, so blue ammonia um, probably will be, will be shipped um, in, in large vessels. I mean, it's already now, it's like, I think, probably one of the biggest commodities already now um, in the world. So it's shipped already now in large, uh, large ships. And, and, and then the question is, I mean, what do you do with the blue ammonia? I mean, I think there's a certain certain kinds of engine that can combust it. I mean, probably also ship, ship engines. Um, but I think uh, like re, um, regaining the, the hydrogen from the blue ammonia is very expensive in terms of energy. So, so probably here you will, you will find limits. But I mean, substituting that, um, that existing gray or black ammonia, however it's called, um, with blue ammonia, we certainly uh, like add, add, a, add a value to the decarbonization of these processes. Thanks, Moritz. And Steve, do you have do you have anything to add there? Well, if we include aviation as a mobility application, there are two um, companies I'm aware of. Uh, one being Boeing, <laughs> that little company. Remember them working with NASA to try and put ammonia into jet engines. And there's also another in Australia who you probably haven't heard of trying to do exactly the same thing and what they have realized is that putting ammonia directly onto a jet on an aircraft jet engine is not exactly the best thing to do because you get a lot of NOx emissions but if you partially crack the ammonia so if you've got ammonia in a tank on the aircraft it's very compact high energy density liquid ammonia in a tank on the aircraft easy to store if you put 80% of the ammonia direct onto the engine, and you crack 20% of the ammonia back to hydrogen, and then you re-inject some of the ammonia at the back end to do denox, then we can end up with a low NOx jet engine fueled with ammonia. Also using ammonia, there's a, one of the Equinor's um, service vessels in the North Sea, um, one of the Viking service ships will be modified to run ammonia on a fuel cell. As Moritz said, you know, we can put ammonia directly onto a marine engine, boom, 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 a two-stroke uh, marine engine, fine. But we can also put ammonia onto solid oxide fuel cells and make electrical power. And then, of course, the electrical power can drive the propulsion unit. So when I think about ammonia and mobility applications, I personally, I think of ships and I think of aircraft. I don't necessarily think of buses and trucks, but I do think of aircraft and ships.